How's it going guys? It is Eclipse here and today we've got some insane news coming out from World of Tanks console. So we've got an update 3.5 which is the War of Nations kind of update that will be uh, implemented into the game and it's bringing some really cool little new things. We have the physics update which I kind of speculated uh, before Christmas or just after Christmas that will be coming out. Um, obviously I also said that the Czechoslovakian tanks might be coming out, it doesn't seem that they are but I'm guessing that will be the next update after that. Um, so what is happening is we're going to go and have a look at through some of the information, I'm going to go over everything you need to know about the patch and what are the, the key things you're going to be wanting to find out uh, for this new update 3.5 on World of Tanks console, so that includes Xbox and PS4 and will roughly be coming out on the 31st of January, so right at the end of the month. It might not be the 31st of January, but that's when they're showcasing the new physics, map variants and more on Twitch, so you might want to go and check that out if uh, you want to see some extra little bits. Um, I'll give my opinions at the end of the video, but we're going to go and have a look at some of the uh, kind of previews of what actually happened. So here's number one, as you can see they're in the snake bite here. It's not the best quality in the world, but what can you say, it's just a preview type thing. As you can see, the snake bite actually kind of <laughs> rolled over there after it went over a cliff because obviously it was picking up speed and therefore just managed to flip. And they, you can just see that you can go over little bumps and stuff. So this will just make it a hell of a lot more versatile, as you can see. Some of the kind of recommended videos there. Sorry about that. So here is the second one. So we've got the E100, which is a massive machine. I don't know how this is going to kind of play out in the actual gameplay of the game. But as you can see, there's this uh, kind of immovable object, which you can now drive over, which is insane. Um, so that will be kind of cool just for... Uh, versatility and that sort of reasons you've also got a self writing mechanic which I don't believe they actually have on PC unless someone pushes you and turns you back over so that's kinda cool it's uh, 10 seconds I believe if we read oh yep 10 seconds there um, and then you'll be able to kind of reflip yourself so you're not out of the game straight away and uh, you don't lose health like you do with the PC version I believe if you flip you start losing all of your health and therefore you blow up in the end of it unless you get pushed back over. Uh, they've also added in the handbrake, we don't know what sort of kind of control it's going to be on the console, obviously it could just be one of the d-pad buttons or they might have moved the controls from maybe the auto drive so that when you push that button in it's actually the handbrake instead of the auto drive and the auto drive will get put on the d-pad or something like that or maybe the other way around we don't really know but um, we'll only have to wait and see what button that actually goes into so that's kind of cool if you're in light tank driver and you want to be m more mobile and get flipping around before um, being taken out from behind whilst you take a while to turn your turret and tracks at the same time so that's kind of cool and uh, although I don't, it's not actually working on tank destroyers and artillery it's not enabled so that's kind of interesting uh, you can still use the handbrake to lock the brakes for uh, quick stops but you can't like sharp turn which is a bit weird um, I kind of get it for tank destroyers it just means that light tanks have an advantage in terms of um, and medium tanks, heavy tanks and that sort of thing have an advantage when they're trying to go around a turretless thing uh, which I don't necessarily think that they need because the turreted TDs in my opinion are not actually that good next up we are onto the map variants which I will do kind of a highlight video when they actually come into the game where I'll just go around the maps and show you what sort of things they've actually got so the maps coming out is secret line war uh, mines and province so that's kind of cool so I'm guessing the will have the war variants of all of those maps so I don't know, oh, we can actually expand, uh, so this is South Coast Rain, so South Coast obviously is the usually quite clear, it's alright, and it doesn't uh, usually have this kind of dreary effect to it, so that'll be kind of interesting to go around and see what uh, else they can bring. El Haloof War, so this is a different kind of uh, thing to be added into the game, it looks uh, pretty nice actually, I always like the concept art and kind of the graphics on World of Tanks console, obviously not as defined as on PC, but you've also got to have a really good computer to be able to run on proper really nice and crisp graphics as well as keeping up the FPS at the same time, uh, which can cost you quite a lot of money and I think consoles are definitely worth it for kind of getting 
enough for gameplay and being pretty cheap as well. I think they're about £200 for an Xbox nowadays, Xbox One that is. Uh, and then we've got an updated tactical minimap. I don't know that I'm going to actually like this change because I use the minimap a hell of a lot and I wish that they would maybe add in a kind of options for some of these features. Um, you've got, I believe, the circle for the visibility or something and uh, view range, that is, there's the cone type area which is here. You've also got the line of sight where you can see where your gun is aiming in terms of the map and then you can also see a kind of auto detect circle and there you also have a detectable ability range so that that will be altered if you get better camo crews and stuff so you'll be able to see whereabouts you'll be able to spot on the map obviously light tanks will generally have a bigger circle and then having things like heavy tanks with a smaller circle and it's just showing you the spotting mechanics a bit more in detail and giving you a a bit more of an advantage if you're playing in a light tank or something and you're trying to out spot and use bushes etc then uh, it will help you out a hell of a lot so there's also a new system called tank gallery view so whether it be the brand new tank that you just unlocked or another mark of excellence sometimes you want to float what you got uh, and then it's just saying to hold LT or L2 on the PlayStation in the garage to enable the tank gallery so I'm guessing this will just be so that you'll be able to take really nice screenshots which will be really good for me in terms of trying to get some thumbnails for YouTube and uh, it'll be kind of cool for you guys to just take screenshots of something that um, you've managed to do so uh, my free mark videos will be pretty nice when I uh, bring them out with the screenshots from this hopefully if it's actually as good as they say it is um, and it also works in the armor and component viewer as well uh, so we're going to get into the nitty bitty grits here so obviously if you don't want to listen to that then you just click off the video have a look at some of my other content or whatever or just get on with the rest of your day so if you're leaving us here then I hope you have a great day and uh, make sure to like the uh, video for more so here we are with the uh, more updated kind of more specific uh, patch notes so uh, the physics is actually on the server side, so um, this will just basically improve the movement of physics um, and so you can go up hills a bit more. You'll be able to get into a lot more versatile positions with light tanks. You'll be able to maybe get up hills that you wouldn't have been able to get into positions where you'll be able to kind of move up into an area where only a light tank might be able to go. Only a light tank and a medium, uh, therefore heavy tanks are at a disadvantage in certain areas of the map which I don't feel is actually in the game at the moment. I feel heavy tanks can really play anywhere they want, it doesn't matter where they go, they usually can perform just as good as a medium tank or a, not maybe a light tank in certain positions. Obviously an open field is no good for a heavy tank and neither is it really very good for a light tank either but you can see where I'm going with that. Uh, obviously the radar minimap upgrade we've seen that, uh, the handbrake we've also gone over and uh, so they've also added in a new options menu so that you know I said about which uh, button they will be on. So obviously they've added in the kind of options so you'll be able to choose one or two um, of the options so either it will probably be a different button for each uh, version so whatever you prefer you just get to choose that. Um, you get stationary camera support for spectators so that'll be kind of cool for the Wargaming Console League so uh, for the kind of competitive side that'll be pretty decent and um, also uh, proving ground and tutorial missions so you can pick up ammo uh, you can also do other sorts of stuff I'm guessing you might be able to pick up uh, kind of rewards uh, off the floor like uh, I don't know some HE ammo uh, AP ammo, APCR, whatever off the floor or maybe even uh, kind of get your health back or something. Uh, obviously we've gone over the vehicle gallery view um, and then we also have got 108 vehicles updated to HD collision models so that will be kind of important in terms of balancing mechanics and uh, we'll have to see what some of the low tiers I'm guessing that's the ones that they've improved maybe they'll give a list of just all the tanks which would be ridiculous but um, I might have a look at that in a different video and see whether we can see that there's going to be any more kind of I don't really know just any more vehicles that are going to be a bit overpowered at certain tiers because of that update and uh, vehicles 
As a result of the update to HD models and how vehicles are built from hundreds of files, there are numerous minor cosmetic issues. These issues are being fixed as quickly as possible and will be in the next update. So please see the known issues. So we're going to have a look at that as well. And then they're bringing in obviously these new maps, there's South Coast Rain, El Haloof War, Secret Line War, uh, Mines with updated HD art, so I didn't think it looked that bad anyway, so obviously it's going to look somewhat better, I don't know how much it's going to look better, but I'm sure the developers have done a good job and kind of updated it to the Xbox One look that we kind of uh, want. Overlord Assault Mode has been rebalanced, which I don't really know what that's going to be like, um, I'd never really played Overlord Assault, I don't like the map kind of full stop so maybe that's kind of made it a bit better so if you come up against that it will be kind of important to uh, note down. Scorpion Pass, Encounter Mode spawns move for balance, yeah I did find that was slightly unbalanced when uh, you spawned in and it's kind of something that uh, I've really wanted to have changed. Teatval Ridge, Team Destruction Mode spawns move for balance, what I'm really hoping is Malinovka Assault, which they haven't actually done yet, because you know it's such a balanced map when you're defending in heavy tanks camping at the back and they don't do anything. Um, anyway, Corellia Assault, move base and spawns for balance, so most of these are just moving the base and the spawns to make it a bit more fair for certain teams. Uh, improvement made to the new player experience so I have no idea what that's going to be about maybe they've improved kind of the tutorial and uh, basically just trying to farm as many people to join the game as much as possible to get more money obviously because they are a company at the end of the day removed a prop tank gun collision so I don't really know what that is uh, reduced brick piles around buildings so obviously you don't get stuck as much and flip your tank uh, with the new physics uh, kind of engine coming in removed objects in debris piles so I'm guessing that's to obviously improve the physics and um, adjusted fighter plane audio so not much of a, an issue UI added premium supplies to text in gold added consumable equip max so that's just changing the what it's going to look like in game and um, that will just be something that you'll notice every now and again that's changed uh, changed platoon creation slash dish band flow so maybe they've actually uh, kind of changed how you can actually make a platoon which is kind of nice instead of having to back out to the main like section where you choose multiplayer platoon uh, team training and uh, proving grounds or something I think it is you'll be able to probably just click in from the garage when you're on multiplayer um, thread texture FX updated so I don't really know what that's going to be, probably just writing FX kind of updated to a new, newer model to look nicer. Um, Minimap scale adjusted to 445 meters, so maybe that's bigger or smaller, I don't really know 100% but that's going to be changed so you won't be able to see as much. Uh, so that's only the compass though, so uh, we'll be able to kind of get a bit more details thing when we actually get to look in game. Uh, armor viewer improvements to colorblind option so I've heard a few people mentioning about that but um, I haven't actually got colorblind mode on at the moment so I don't really know I don't see any differences uh, when they're gonna bring it in so uh, it's kind of cool that they're kind of helping out the colorblind people in the community uh, added camera shake to artillery explosions so I am not really sure that this is gonna be something that I want when a artillery hits you and bloody not only does it hit you for like 700 or whatever it then just messes up your camera um, but obviously a bit more immersion for console players um, not as serious as PC maybe maybe they've already got that I don't really know uh, new platoon icon so that's to well combined with the auto like platoon type thing that you can do um, and then added platoon creation cooldown animation so uh, that's how long before when you disband a platoon you can make another one and they've changed the kill feed which is amazing I can't believe they've actually done that that is so good I, I didn't like the kill feed that they had back hopefully they've actually put it so you can actually see what tank the enemy is in because it's really annoying when um, you don't know what killed one of your teammates etc and uh, therefore you can kind of adjust your playstyle as to taking out that tank that actually managed to take out your teammate 
the garage door hole fixed. I don't really know what that is, these are just bug fixes. Uh, adjusted wooden ramp collision for ease of travel. Not really sure what that is. These are just um, kind of just the general thing. Uh, you can also promote platoon leaders, which is nice. So um, when a platoon leader disconnects, is um, so that's just a kind of a promotion to platoon leader message. So it just comes up um, when someone leaves or whatever. Uh, I can't really see very many other things uh, that you might want to know. So here is the vehicles. Uh, so the FV201 Black fixed destroyed state. Um, the hidden stug fixed side armor collision, so it might have been getting penned far too easily, so they've changed that and fixed it. T34 fixed destroyed state, so they're changing how it's going to act when it's de dead, basically. Um, and they've done that with the majority of these tanks on here. Uh, they've also changed the Boilermaker fixed based armor collision. Um, and then the, the T-34-1, A-43, they've changed the armor viewer so that you can actually see what it actually looks like. Uh, AMX Chaffee, fixed camulation, camouflage cost, etc. And it's just things that um, you should expect. Oh, they've also changed some of the names from, uh, like, in-game from, like, I think it's not very big changes. Panzer KPFW-3 is changed to Panzer KPFW3 Alphs J. Ah, okay, so they've changed that. Um, Tiger to Tiger 1, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Panzer KPF6 Tiger P to Tiger P. Uh, Panzer KPFW V Panther to Panther. Panther 88 to Panther 8, comma 8, comma E50 to E50M. Uh, they're just spacing them out basically, changing them slightly, GW Panther putting in full stops in between the GW, uh, GW same with GW line right the way up and uh, they've changed the L tractor to LTR dot or whatever it is, T92 to T92 HMC. Um, so that's kind of all I really want to talk about and uh, I don't want to bore you with a load of old tripe that they've just added in that's just... Uh, kind of going over things a bit too much so that's kind of really cool that they're bringing in these loads and loads and loads of update it's going to be kind of uh, a struggle to see whether all of the things are balanced in the game since it's a huge update I'm sure that they've done a lot of testing with the super test etc and it will be cool to have these new physics systems uh, I've kind of wanted them but then I'm thinking what about teammates pushing people over flipping them on purpose like oh I just hope that that doesn't happen, hopefully teammates can't push you that they've enabled something where you can't flip teammates or uh, that sort of thing because that's going to be slightly annoying, even if it's by accident etc. Um, and then they've also bringing in this Chinese New Year bash, so it's just basically a way of making money from selling premium tanks uh, and the tier 3s to 10s have uh, been 20% gold discount, 30% off silver as well. Uh, all of these new emblems which is kind of cool that you can uh, get on your tank make sure you equip them for a month or whatever it is uh, they bring out all of these ops as well which you probably have already seen if you've logged into the game they're also doing rewards uh, uh, bundles even uh, with 10 Chinese supplies so improved combat rations by 10 and 3 days of premium for 850 gold 26% savings do not take much uh, away from these savings because they just are so clickbait saying that there's a hundred and thirty percent discounts but we sold to you the same tank three times but have three different variants it's always like that with wargaming they always try to um, buff up the amount of savings that you're making uh, one of them that I did have a look at it was to do with I believe uh, 180 days of premium and 500,000 silver for 10,000 gold which I thought was pretty good I was kind of debating whether to get that but then I decided not to um, and obviously you've got the equipment ones that are usually just there that they've brung out 1 million silver for 2,200 gold I would never really recommend buying uh, silver for gold but then that's only me do whatever you want and I just wanted to show you the bundles and stuff Anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video, it's been a long one, it might have been boring, but I just wanted to cover any of the news that you might be wondering about, and uh, 
and just give my opinions as, as we go through as well. So I hope you have enjoyed. Please hit that like button if you did and uh, make sure to actually subscribe or hit the notifications above which should link you to another video of mine and then go and check out that if you like that then hit that subscribe button to see more of the content and I hope you uh, will tune in for the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. Have a nice weekend and uh, hopefully you will actually tune in on Sunday for the next video.